Hey guys, Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and on today's video I want to talk about why I stopped doing a program that I was so passionate and so dedicated to getting out there. One of the challenging things to think about is, did I fail? or did I learn a lesson? And I think one of the big things that we look at too much is when you try something and it doesn't quite work out, we see it as a failure. And the problem with looking at it as a failure is the fact that we then self-sabotage and we start to get really, really down on ourselves. And recently I was so hell bent about creating an emotional man project, which was all around emotional awareness for guys. It was a 12 week program. And you know what? Today I decided to pull the pin on it because I realized that where it's going right now is not in the right alignment for what it is that I'm looking for. And I had to really own that and the reason why I had to own it is because I want to encourage guys to be more vulnerable to be able to stand up and own what is going on for themselves so how can I just drift off into the background and not let anybody know that what is going on is actually going on and at the same time thinking about the guilt that I would feel knowing that I've put in a lot of effort I've asked a lot of people for help and support and I've also put it out there so much that there's gonna be people thinking on social media that Brett's life everything's going so great and I think it comes back to authenticity the the fact that when we show up on social media, it's so easy to have the highlight reel. This is me sitting at the beach. This is me, you know, living the lifestyle. This is me doing whatever it is. But the thing is, there's so much behind it that you don't actually see. So today I also did a Facebook Live just announcing the fact that I'm canceling the upcoming Emotional Man program and really owning that. See, when we own something like that, when we're vulnerable, we allow people to see who we truly are and what's really going on and the real story. And that's the reason why I want to do this video today because if you're somebody who's working towards a program or a project there's something that you want to do or it's something that you are doing and it's not quite going well and at some point you're gonna to have to decide am I going to continue this or am I going to put it on hold and am I just going to look at it as for the the growth and the learning and the, the experience that it has been and take a step back focus on something else create the space in your life so that you can then have the next go at creating that project to be so much more powerful and it be more than what you could even imagine. That's what I've done. And at the same time, I want to invite you to not be scared to actually take a step and actually try something and actually get out there because it's been a really challenging experience for me. It's been a very vulnerable experience for myself. And as I said, how can I invite guys to be more vulnerable and women as well? But the program was around guys, so I'll just refer to that. But Ultimately, how can I ask anybody to be more vulnerable if I'm not willing to be vulnerable and own it myself? So, did I learn or did I fail? The first thought is that I failed. I'll be honest, full transparency, that's my first thought. But when you actually sit back and realize there's so much learning and so much just growth opportunity within that, and that's ultimately what happened. I learned, I've learned so much. Granted, I've also learned what not to do, but I've learned so much as to what I should do next time around. So don't be afraid to step out there. Don't be afraid to take a risk. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable and say, hey, this didn't work. Because what I can assure you is that when you do that in a public space, be it through Facebook, social media, whatever it is, people are gonna have a lot more respect for who you are as an individual because you're not just trying to portray a glamorous, false lifestyle. So take that risk, take that step. And if you're in a state right now where something hasn't gone well and there's some guilt that you're feeling because there's people around you that perceive that it's going so well and your life is doing so amazingly fantastic all the time. I also want to invite you to just let them know and go, hey, you know that thing that I asked you to help me out with? So it turns out it hasn't actually worked out. I've learned a lot, but it hasn't actually worked out. And the thing that you'll find, as I did when I voiced this through social media on my Facebook, on doing a Facebook Live announcing that I was going to cancel this program, was the fact that so much space opened up. And I can assure you what I know for myself and what I know for you as well is the fact that when that space opens up because you've owned the fact that something didn't go well you didn't fail you've learned a lot and you took the risk a good friend of mine also said when I was having a conversation with him was the fact that so many people don't actually take that risk so first and foremost honor yourself for stepping out and taking that leap and giving it a go because there's too many people that are just sitting back and just going oh it'd be nice to do that it'd be nice to do this and all that sort of thing. So honor yourself. So that's it, it's a learning lesson. Embrace it, dive into it, own it, and keep moving forward.